replacing the motherboard and the cliff and bumper sensors. Take off the front plate by pulling and lifting the plate. Lift the back plate, take the bin out, and lower the plate. Flip the vacuum over. I already removed the side brush. Remove the screw in the middle of the brush and take off the brush. Pull the spinner wheel out. Remove the eight screws on the bottom. Take off the guard and take the main brush out. Take off the bottom case. Take the battery out and disconnect it. Remove the three screws. and take out the side sweep motor. Remove the two screws and take out the main brush frame. Remove the six screws, each has three. Press down on the wheel when removing the third screw. Take out the wheels. Remove the eight screws on the connector. And take off the front bumper. Remove the 14 screws. and lift the bottom shell. Stand the vacuum up on its side and disconnect the three wires. Lay the bottom shell down. These are the charging contact and the charging wire. This is the radar. This is the motherboard and the fan. These are cliff, bumper, and cliff sensors. They form the left component and they connect here. These are cliff, bumper, and cliff sensors. They form the right component, and they connect here. This is the antenna. It is glued to the vacuum. Remove the five screws. Disconnect the wires.
and take the motherboard out. Pull the antenna off and replace the motherboard with a new one. These are cliff, bumper, and cliff sensors. They form the left component. The bumper sensor has three screws. Unscrew them. Push down on the cliff sensors. Or use tools to knock them down. Replace the component with a new one. These are a cliff, bumper, and cliff sensors, they form the right component. The bumper sensor has three screws, unscrew them. Push down on the cliff sensors, or use tools to knock them down. Replace the component with a new one. Install the cliff sensors from the bottom. This is another bumper sensor. It has one screw. It is part of the right component. 